So I'm out fishing today uh, with some friends, and I caught a bass. First time in like two years since we moved to Pennsylvania or moved here from Pennsylvania. So I'm out fishing with Dan and Leah, and uh, we are currently out on Seven Seas of Gloom. We've actually been out here fishing for about an hour and a half, and uh, we've had some really good locations. Specifically over at the Contemporary was really good. We had uh, quite a few bites over there. We caught quite a few bass, and right now uh, we're fishing out in front of the uh, Grand Floridian, which is really nice. It's a nice day. It's not too hot out yet. So Dan's got one. Finally, Finally! I got one on the camera. <clears throat> and he didn't participate by coming this way. <laughs> All right, so we just got done fishing. What do you guys think? How was it? That was a lot of fun. It was really fun. Like, a really good time, worth the money. We yeah. don't get skunked. We all caught fish. <laughs> Which made it better. That was really fun. <laughs> yeah. Josh got the first one, of course. I did, I did. But uh, you guys would recommend it for other people to do as oh, well? Yeah, for sure. and it was really yeah. cool to see like all of the lagoon and like the different parts of it. And yeah. our guide Dave was really, really cool, showing us yeah. every little thing around the islands. And yeah, he was. Really nice. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. All right. Well, uh, I think we will end up hanging out with these guys again later tonight or tomorrow. So uh, you guys, huh? until then, see you guys. Bye. Bye. All right. So fishing has concluded and I am now at Epcot. Happy Spaceship Earth Sunday, everybody. As a, that seems to be a growing theme on this Twitter. <laughs> Spaceship Earth Sunday. I just got done fishing with Dan and Leah. And uh, I thought, you know, I'm already over here. No point in going all the way home. Um, and I did not get anywhere near enough video while fishing, which is very disappointing. Uh, but it's hard when you're a one-man show and you're trying to fish and trying to get video of other people fishing and, and get B-roll and things like that. So I didn't get the entire experience, I don't think, but I think I got enough uh, to show what you should have already seen. Fast passes for Spaceship Earth, Living With The Land, and somehow I got frozen. I'm heading over to Living With The Land, that's my first fast pass, and then we're gonna do Spaceship Earth. tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal That was a uh, fantastic living with the land ride. I saw a lot more fruits and vegetables on the plants than what I normally do, which is kind of cool to see. Because uh, a lot of times you don't get to see that. It's just them growing and not a lot of uh, yield coming off of those plants. It is now time to go over and ride Spaceship Earth in honor of Spaceship Earth Sun.
learned a new language, spoken not by land, but by computers. At first, very large, very expensive computers, but we see the potential. Spaceship Earth, what a great ride. I have to say, I think my favorite scene in there has got to be, uh, well, I really enjoyed the scene with the with the burning of Rome because you get that nice, like, burning smell. That's really nice. But I think I've actually come to like the scene with the, what I would say is the recycled dad from the Carousel of Progress and Magic Kingdom. It's like him playing the whatever musical instrument. And then you have the guys that are on the ground uh, sitting, and then you have, like, the hidden Mickeys, basically, that come in from the lights. Those are all really cool. Um, it is about lunchtime. I'm gonna go and grab a snack. I posted in the group, in our Facebook group, about the best snack to get in Epcot. And it sounds like most everything is coming back here from World Showcase. So I'm gonna look at those comments and see what to get. I don't know. what seemed like popular demand is here in France. I've never actually gotten any food from back in here, so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity. Uh, so let's see what they have. All right, so I'm here in France by the vast majority of everybody in the group suggested coming here to France. Uh, so I got two different things. I got something that's savory and I got something that's sweet. The young girl inside, which I did not get her name, recommended me to get uh, this macaroon, which I'm not a huge fan of macaroons, uh, but it looks really good. It has uh, raspberries and a lime, oh, it's like coming apart, and uh, like a lime tart in there. And then I've got this uh, roll, which is bacon and cheese, I believe. It smells absolutely fantastic. So I believe Laura Swift uh, suggested this, which is, this is the bacon and cheese roll. This is very good. So while I'm here, I figured I would talk a little bit about the fishing excursion, my point of view, what I thought about it. And just to go over a couple things, it was only a two hour uh, fishing excursion. So we started at seven, ended at nine. They do have four hour slots that you can do. I was reading on the website that you can actually do solos and uh, solos start in the afternoon. They're actually at a reduced price, which is kind of nice. So it kind of gives everybody, you know, if you don't have a group of people to go with, you can just go by yourself. There was only three of us on there. The guide actually does not fish, although he does help you cast the line, bait the hook, and uh, take the fish off the hook. So if that's not, not something that you're actually into, don't worry, you don't actually have to do that. Um, you can do the casting and the reeling and uh, not have to really do anything else. I will say part of the experience, I think, is getting to hold your own fish that you catch, which is really nice. Um, I did that for two of them. There's a couple that I caught that were kind of smaller and it was just like, you know, toss them back real quick, not a big deal. Now, another thing to mention is that they don't actually guarantee uh, you will catch a fish. Um, our guide had said that there have been a couple of like four hour excursions where they only have one person catch one fish, which is really disappointing. Um, ours was not like that. We caught at least two fish per person. I think I caught like four. Dan caught at least three or four, and I think his wife, Leah, caught two. So we had a pretty good experience, which was really nice. Another nice thing is that the guy doesn't just take you to one spot and, and, and leave you there or sit you there the entire time. You can actually go all around the lagoon. We started in, in Bay Lake, and then we went over to the Seven Seas Lagoon, and we fished around Contemporary, and then we fished around Magic Kingdom and the uh, Grand Floridian. Coming back towards Contemporary, we stopped and fished again. Uh, they try to get you, or at least uh, our, our guy, David, actually tried to get us as much in as we could, which was really nice. This bacon and cheese roll is phenomenal. Um, so if you're wondering how the whole thing works, you actually have to call Disney and make a reservation and book it online. And they don't actually charge your card, I believe, up front first, at least not from what uh, our guide was saying. Usually what will happen is that they will put a hold on it. Uh, that way, in case if there's a uh, lightning or something happens and they have to either cancel the trip or something. I don't know if they do partial refunds, but uh, it sounds like they'll do something to try and uh, comp you for the time if 
you know, inclement weather happens to show up. Again, they provide everything for you. Uh, so I was saying there's only there was only three of us. So it was Dan, Leah, and myself. Um, that doesn't mean that you can only cast three pulls. I think we had like at least seven, maybe pulls that were usually always out. If we were going to stop and stay one place, we would throw all the lines out, and then basically anybody can reel anything that they're not holding, in, uh, which is really cool. It gives more opportunity to catch something and to try and reel something, and that's nice. Uh, all right, let's try this macaroon. It's starting to get really hot. Super good. This is really sweet. It has a nice little bit of tartiness in it. There's like a nice little raspberry jam tucked inside of those raspberries and the uh, lime tart. It's fantastic. Overall, this was a pretty successful day. I need to hurry up and get back home because I've got to edit this video. And then I believe uh, Taylor and I are meeting Dan and Leah at uh, Hollywood Studios, I think or someplace else tonight to uh, hang out and walk around the parks and maybe ride some rides. So have you guys uh, ever done any of the fishing excursions before? Have you been uh, in French with a bakery? This place is awesome. This is, uh, is going to be a new go-to for sure.